Hey everyone, I am Nisi Ambassador Matt Seuss, and today, this is really cool, I have a pre-production filter here. This is a brand new filter that Nisi Optics USA is going to be releasing, and this is a solar filter for photographing the sun, and we have an eclipse coming up next year on April 8th of 2024 that you're going to want to get ready for. And having this filter here is going to allow you to take photos of the sun during the solar eclipse, and also, you know, just anytime you want to take a photo of the sun. So this is the ND100000 5.0 16.6-stop filter. This has a UV and infrared protection from the sun, and it is also has, it's one of their pro lens uh, filters, which also has their uh, nano coating on that too, which makes cleaning this up a breeze and protects the filter. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about why you need one of these when photographing the sun, and I'm also gonna talk about some safety and how to use this. Now let's talk about the filter here first. So this is a 16.6 stop filter. Now you may be thinking, hey, can I just use, you know, like maybe stack a couple regular uh, neutral density filters on top of each other, maybe a 15 and a five or a three or something like that to get up to at least those 16 and a half stops. Well, you can, but it's really not recommended. And here's why. This is a solar filter. This is specifically designed to cut out the UV and infrared uh, radiation that's coming from the sun. That's gonna protect your gear and also your eyesight too. So, you know, while it may seem like, yeah, you can just use regular neutral density filters, don't skimp, don't try for the cheaper do-it-yourself uh, remedy here. When you're photographing the sun, you don't wanna mess around with your equipment and with your eyes. Now this filter here, this is a screw mount filter. So if I open this up and we take a look at this, this is really nice and thin, and we can see how thin it is here. And this is the filter, and all you do is just screw that right onto the front of your normal lens, or whatever lens you're gonna be using to photograph the sun. Let me show you what that looks like compared to uh, what I used back in 2017 when I photographed the eclipse. And we got this here, and this filter here, this is another solar filter, but it uses a film. And this film is actually really delicate. Uh, you can see here, I kind of jerry-rigged this a little bit and made some spacers so that when I was transporting this in the box, the cardboard wouldn't be ru rubbing up against this filter and scratching it. These filters, again, very delicate. You could puncture a hole in it. You get a hole in this, it's gonna ruin your shot. So these are, these are okay. I don't like them as much as being able to have a glass filter in front that is a lot more rigid than that thin film. Now let's go ahead and talk some basic safety here with this. While this is a solar filter, you're not gonna wanna go here and hold it up to the sun and look through it. So it's not designed for your eyes. You wanna use special uh, glasses for looking at the sun with your eyes. This filter here too, while it's gonna cut down on the UV and infrared radiation and darken the image, you still don't wanna be looking through a digital SLR through the optics so that you, you know, cause you can still possibly run the risk of doing some eye damage. So if you have a mirrorless camera, go ahead and look through your, uh, your viewfinder when you're using this. DSLRs, any other optical view instruments, cameras that you're using, you're not gonna to wanna to look through it even when you have this filter on it. And instead what you can do is use the live view mode and then you'll be fine. You won't be ruining your eyes in that mode. Now a couple other safety tips when using this. This can get hot when you you're, have your camera pointed up towards the sun, so some solar energy can build up in here and make this a little bit warm. So be careful when you're taking this off. And also be careful when you have, uh, if you have any other people around that they're not looking through your equipment, especially when this is not on. Now in order to use this safely, what I recommend doing is first looking at this away from the sun, just making sure you don't have any cracks or anything in the, in the glass here. You don't want any light leaking through there. Once you know that the filter is okay and you didn't damage it at all, go ahead and then screw that onto the front of your lens. Now, once this is in place, now you can safely go ahead and point that towards the sun. And again, if you have a mirrorless camera, go ahead and look through your viewfinder. And if you're using a digital SLR or some other optic view camera, make sure that you're using live view instead of looking directly through the viewfinder. Now I got a couple tips for you when you are using this. And what I do is I have, I'm taking a look at my histogram all the time. I'm making sure that my flashies are not, you know, my highlights are not being overexposed. And actually I'm also underexposing this a little bit too so that I can pick up some details in the sunspots. If you overexpose this, your flashes, you know, your light flashes will not necessarily be going off showing you that you overexposed, but you may lose some detail in the sun, including those sunspots. 
Another thing that I like to do is in post-processing is bump up the warmth quite a bit to bring back some of that natural yellow glow to the sun. So once again, this has been a real quick look at the new solar filter that is coming out from Nisi Optics USA. And again, that eclipse is going to be next year in uh, April. You're going to want to order this you know, sooner rather than later. And I remember back in 2017, all sorts of filters. I got this. I was lucky to get this just in the nick of time just before that eclipse in 2017. These are going to be a hot item. Make sure you order it early so that you can get yours and start practicing on it so that you can then go ahead and photograph the eclipse and not have anything to worry about.